So the four pillars for having optimal brain function in our practice are optimizing sleep, optimizing stress management, optimizing nutrition, and optimizing physical activity. All of those are day-to-day -day practices that anybody can do, and they all can contribute to having a brain that performs at its highest level. The overarching idea is we want the body to have the minimal amount of baseline inflammation from our day-to-day -day habits so that they can optimize to get to their full potential by minimizing inflammation. So exercise, um, not only does it uh, increase this biochemistry substance, there are many overlaps with your uh, type of exercise, how much exercise, many body processes are involved in exercise. It's not just brain health, it's cardiovascular health, um, it's uh, weight management and metabolism. There are several diets that we endorse as they connect to an anti-inflammatory state. So you can have an entry-level uh, anti-inflammatory diet, which we, we really like Whole30. You can also go a paleo-ketogenic diet. And we really assess the patient where they're at, how much they know, um, what their baseline is. Are they eating a lot of processed food, um, which is highly inflammatory? And it's a case-by-case -case thing. We see where they're at and then we give recommendations. I think sleep is probably the biggest one. And then you get the answer back, well, I don't know how to sleep, <laughs> right? Like I don't sleep. <laughs> so what do you do for that? There are um, very easy to enact um, sleep hacks that you can do. Having a cooler room for yourself, turning off your devices, blue blocker glasses, a chili pad. It's this cold pad that you put on your bed. It's freaking remarkable. Also looking at your cortisol uh, stress response. Get in with the integrative or functional medicine doctor and look at um, what is your stress level. And a lot of people say, oh yeah, I'm stressed, but I deal with it and I'm fine. And then we look at the numbers and like, well, the numbers don't look like you're dealing with it so fine. And so getting that data can be really empowering for people. So calming that stress response. You know, our culture has a high stress, high power, that's good and that gets you a lot of advancement in your career and it gets you a lot of money and these are all good things. And it is good, but not to the detriment of your body. Year after year, day after day, of intensity, of not giving yourself enough time to breathe, for example, meditation, not giving yourself enough time to exercise, which helps with stress, helps with mood, helps with BDNF, these things have been known forever. Stress leads to not enough time for sleep, not enough time for exercise, not enough time to care about your diet, um, and not enough time for your brain to relax. The message is get with somebody who knows how to work on the thing that you want to work on. So brain-wise, I think sleep is huge. Um, I also think diet is as important and they work together. The better your diet, the better your sleep. Um, exercise, again, we talked about earlier and the right type and the right amount, um, not too much. <laughs> um, and then that uh, calming that stress response.